Well, Hillary Clinton uh, had a teleprompter the other day at a, an event here in New York City. She was speaking to an LGBT group, and she described Trump supporters, 50% of them, this way. We want to play the soundbite and get your comments. Listen. To just be grossly generalistic, you could put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. <laughs> right? The racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. And unfortunately, there are people like that. And he has lifted them up. A lot of people, half of Trump's yeah. that's tens of millions of people. That's the middle of the country. And she thinks they're racist, sexist, bigots, hard, but they're immoral, is what she's saying. This is how the Clintons see Americans, your channel to be used, played to. This is the new Sandra Fluke. Think about where she was speaking. She was an LGBT, LGBT event. So now she uses every phobic ist or ism to describe those who don't support her because you are less. If you don't support the Clinton elitism. So what's behind this? I mean, it's, it was in the teleprompter. Tucker disagrees with me. I think it's strategic. It's only a few weeks. I mean, early voting starting very soon. She says this. It's written down in the teleprompter. What's the strategy here? The strategy is that people won't even remember some of the words, but they will remember that she said somebody hates. They will remember what she's selling. It's the fear game. We've seen this playbook. You make the Republicans or your opponents someone to hate, someone to run away from. Unfortunately, this has been going on for decades with the Democrats, and it's worked. It's worked in minority communities. It's not working as well as it used to for Hillary. Mm -hmm. There's a disconnect with her, but it has worked, and that's what they're doing. But that's not, it's not just the Democrats. I mean, Lindsey Graham thinks the same thing. It's the elites on both sides look out in the middle of the country, and they say... I hate you. Right. They, they title it flyover country, which let me tell you something. I drive through flyover country, <laughs> as you all know, through country. the year. Yeah. And I got to tell you, these are some of the most down home, honest people, yeah. Republicans and Democrats or independents, whatever. They're not looking at Americans. They're looking at voting blocks. It's the, it's the cynicism, the incredible cynicism of the political class. Mm -hmm. David, does this help her or does this hurt her? It hurt Mitt Romney when he said something very different, but some people are drawing comparisons when he talked about the 47 or 48 percent right. of Americans who get government mm -hmm. assistance or who do not pay federal taxes. You know what? It probably hurt Mitt Romney more because he had the the magnifier of the media going after him. That video that was taken in the meeting and the liberal, more liberal quarters of the media that will ma magnify the message. With Hillary Clinton, they'll just ignore it and walk away. But we as Americans now have to take a look at the policies that have failed. Look at the Clinton policies. Look at what she's proposing to do and ask yourself, how does this help me?